hello guys good evening welcome back to don't graphics design i believe we are all doing great right now i want to show you how to design this podcast talk show flyer using your pixel app application and also to add some awesome light effects into the design to make it pop out just like this other one that you can see right now so there is another awesome application that i'm going to show you guys and that application will help you to add this light effect that you are seeing on the design but that said let's just begin with the design first of all like i said i will be showing you how i designed this particular uh, podcast show talk show flyer using my pixel app application without wasting much of your time let's get started with the tutorial and as we do please ensure to subscribe to the channel so i'm going to uh, delete everything so that we can start from square one and the first thing that we're going to do is to work with our background so always begin your designs with your background and right now i have this blurred background i blurred this background using a lunar peak so the last time i asked if you guys are interested in learning how to blur backgrounds you indicate actually just few persons did indicate it if you are interested you let me know i will bring up a particular video on that all right so we have this background i did not even show you the size so let me just show you it's a square size anyway so i'm cropping the background once you uh, have this background just click on this one by one which is of course a square and you drag it to the very bottom then you click on your check mark to proceed by now i must have had all my resources that i will be using in this particular uh, design so don't worry i will still share the resources for you guys and um, that will be through the link on the video description so the next thing we're going to do is to import since it is a podcast talk show i have this uh podcast uh, setup that i'm going to bring into the design of course it is for a podcast so we really need to bring in elements that depict that it is a podcast so i'm going to place this by the side here then go to layer and i lock it up as well so after locking this up the next thing that we're going to do right now is to start bringing in our text the design does not have a lot of uh, stock images okay so we're going to be playing with text so the first text that we're going to write is uh, podcast and right now i'm going to make it in capital letters so after giving it capital letters just come to your font and uh, we are going to use a particular font called um, barbeck persona so you can download this font on the font what i'm going to do now is to increase the size of this so much then i use lazy position to tack it to the middle but I'm not satisfied with this text this way. I want to go give it uh, a texture. So where do I go? Let me just let me just show you guys. So click on the text and go to your texture. Texture helps to give your text a field. Okay, a field. So I have this metallic texture with me here. I'm just going to crop it to any position that I like, and uh, I'm okay with this. Then you can click on this. A good sign to continue now we have uh, some light differences then you can uh, go ahead to play around with the scale let's just leave it by 145 then you go back to lazy position and make sure it's in the middle increase the size and adjust everything so nicely like this so after achieving all of this we're going to go to shadow of course i want to give the text a shadow and um, just increase the blurness completely to 50%. Okay, then now uh, what you're going to do now is to copy the text. Okay, make a duplicate of this text as you can see. And um, come to texture. Let's delete the texture. Then after deleting the texture, we have to come back to color. And uh, click on this plus button then reduce the opacity of your color click ok and you see that the text disappears but don't panic go to stroke give it a stroke 
so we just want to make an overlay of this text give the stroke color leave the stroke color to be white and the stroke width should just be one so use lazy position to tack this to the middle as well then uh, make sure it is perfectly aligned with the first text that you got okay so that we can have something like this align it properly okay then now uh, we are going to shift it a little bit all right just like this uh, what you can see so we align this a little bit to the right okay good now what we're going to do is to hide this or lock this up then we'll make a copy once again of podcast but this time around we're going to edit in edit it into talk show so we have podcast talk show make this to be in capital letters then come to texture delete this texture we don't need it go back to color and give it a perfect yellow color okay i guess white and yellow are very good color combinations so we have this right now so what we're going to do is to tag this to the middle and set it up closer to the talk show to the podcast sorry Okay, let's just make sure the side is appropriation is uh, proportionally okay then you can copy this out all right and make a duplicate of it just place it on top of the first one I believe you can see that so you can leave it like that and right now we are going to select everything all right use little position to make sure they are in the middle let's select it again and uh, click here on this editing pen to rotate it so I'm going to rotate this make it slanty okay by by 10 I think it's too much let's just leave it by 8 then we can make sure that it's also on the middle okay now let's try sending it up a bit so what i'm actually doing here i'm just selecting everything on the, the layer panel now after achieving this we're going to import uh, this tone paper to write the name of the presenter so let's just bring in this tone paper and from all indication uh, the color the color red can easily work here so i'm going to change this to color red but just make it a little darker you know make it darker so I'm going to go to text once again and write with so let's write the name of the presenter this talk show will be presented or is brought to you by who let's go to font area I want to use a very nice script font here called the Jacqueline font reason why i'm pronouncing or calling out the name of these fonts is for you to quickly download them okay you can just search online there are multiple sites where you can get uh, free fonts if you are interested in my awesome 1000 fonts package just let me know also in the comment section so i can uh, drop a new tutorial with the font link attached i will share with you guys 1000 free exclusively free fonts but just let me know if you are interested with that all right like that said let's uh now bring in the name of the presenter of this talk show so the name is uh, evelyn moses okay this is a famous uh, podcaster evelyn moses and guess what this program is coming up on women's day so it's going to be on women topics now let's go to font area change this font into um a particular font here called the hk so i want to use an um, hk semi bold legacy for this text right now we're going to reduce the size and you know somehow manage to place it nicely on the, that yellow shape but then go to your alignment or your alignment option make this to be middle alignment then break the text into two beautiful paragraphs from all indications 
we are going to increase the size of this a bit so that it can accommodate at the name. So, 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 so. Let's just play around with this. Okay, guys. So, uh, we have all of this now clearly uh, put out. Go back to your layer. Select all the text, all right? And we're going to shift it down a bit, okay? For obvious reasons, just to make it much more centralized, we're going to shift this down a bit so that you can have all of this clearly uh, spelled out. Now, the next thing we're going to bring in here is uh, the details for the talk show program when is it coming up and like i said the event comes up on the 8th of march so i'm going to copy this shape okay i guess it's awesome but i'm going to bring it right here and um, i guess on the 8th of march it should be on the on a friday yeah so i'm going to go to font or new text and i write a friday Friday okay let's make it to to caps then I'm going to go to my font area and this time I want to go in with a particular font called Nexa a Nexa bold I've said let me know if you are interested in the 1000 free fonts pa uh, package I'll share that with you guys just drop a comment I'll be reading through so let's reduce the size of this text uh, so it can fit in properly into this shape and as you follow the tutorial please subscribe to the channel or like the video for more other awesome tutorials that are yet to come your way so I'm going to increase the size of this okay let's just make it much more uh, visible so it's on Friday I guess the 8th of March should be on Friday. Where are my women? Let me know if the 8th of March is on Friday. If I'm mixing that up, pardon me, please. So I'm going to copy this text right now. And, you know, we're going to write 08. So like I said, um, it's on March 8, which happens to be a women's day. So um, we can bring in this text just like this i put 08 then the next thing that we're going to do is to make a copy of this text double tap and write th remember it's the eighth okay in the english man's way i'm not that a uh, perfect in english but uh, just trying to catch this up so we're going to bring this very much closer to the date just so it becomes uh, the 8th of March. So right now, I'm going to copy this for the very last time and I write the month of March. And this should also be in capital letters. Please make sure that you've subscribed to the channel and that you've also liked this tutorial. We are going through gradually. I will also show you how to add light effects to make this design very much awesome but then i'm going to bring in some color mixing here obviously i'm going to mix this red and white color with some yellow color combination just like we saw in the, the podcast okay so go to the date change the color combination to yellow all right now go to shapes select this uh, square kind of shape but then we're going to just bring it very much tiny then we shift it up a bit and uh, you can even reduce it in size again change the color of the shape so yellow also right to yellow then we're going to bring in now the time that this talk show comes up 
like I said, it's on the March 8th, all right? Women's Day. We just got to train in. I'll be giving in the address for this awesome program. But I'm going to reduce the size of this uh, just to about 30. Don't ask why we are reducing the size. Sometimes you need to play with your text to achieve some kind of balance okay and to you know emphasize or to bring in some focus so i'm going to copy this now and put am so the program is 9 am so the timing here is 9 am that should be in the morning uh, for the talk show nicely we're going to uh, position this uh, below the 9 a.m. So I have 9 a.m. for that timing. So the next thing that we're going to do now is to copy this text just to maintain the same font. Remember we used the HK font for this text. And write the, uh, the topics that are up for discussion during this podcast uh, live program. And the first of it is uh, relationship matters. Then we have uh, women in politics. We also have health tips. Uh, and of course, the last one is uh, centered around culture. These are some common themes or some common topics that usually come up uh, during Women's Day celebration, and that is why this uh, this podcaster uh, decided to you know bring it up for a discussion. So we're going to place this here and uh, go to your alignment and use the right alignment. Use your right alignment, guys. Use right alignment for this text. So just nicely shift this up a bit and as you shift it up just lock most of these items where these elements we're going to lock them up and uh, make sure this text is aligned properly with the other text so we have relationship matters women in politics now let's bring in the the facebook handle where this program can also be watch live so i have this uh, live facebook icon and i'm going to reduce it in size just so it can fit into the area we want to use it so nicely you can bring this down here shift it up a bit like i said i'm going to be showing you how to add uh, the lens flare or the light effect to uh, boost up the flyer okay so just hang around as we progress so which handle can you get to them so on facebook you can listen to this podcast on the sunrise at sunrise podcast this is uh, the social media handle or the facebook handle where the program itself will be airing so let's increase the size of this icon a bit then we can shift it down to align properly with this address okay so we have these uh, awesome details now the next thing that we're going to do which is the last thing is to bring in this uh, distraction I call them destructive elements, but they're very important. Let's change the color to white. And uh, nicely, we're going to rotate this. Minimize the size. 
so let's see the size and uh, using position button you can bring it here so let's make a copy of it and uh, I must confess to move these small elements are very difficult guys but just you have to try your best so I'm going to place this one here and uh, rotate it nicely let's rotate it upwards to about 150 degrees minus 150 degrees then we can copy it once again and uh, using position button we can bring it here okay and after placing it here we are going to rotate this back so we rotated this by 150 so we're going to see rotate this okay let's oh my god let's um, go to that did not work so let's check let's check let's check let's check where can we rotate this nicely so obviously you can just use your free hand to rotate this all right then we can shift this also closer to the podcast headset now what we're going to do is to reduce the size of this okay just for spacing purposes then we place it here all right we make it uh, look organized we can now select these text and shift it up a bit so that everything can properly be aligned all right guys so that's it for the podcast talk show flyer design on your pixel lab application the next thing you want to do is just to save your work all right just save save your work save your work when i say save your work some people are exiting without saving just save your work okay save your work now we're going to go straight to this other awesome application known as uh, the pscc touch application this is the app that will help us to add a lens flare to the design so stay with us as we begin right now i'm going to click on the plus button that you are seeing here to bring in the design so click on photo library then look for your pixel lab folder and uh, you'll be able to see the designs that you've achieved on your pixel lab go to the very last one which is the last design the podcast design that we're just from doing and uh, here we are with the design so just click on add once you've seen it click on the add button and here you are so after adding clicking on the add button you want to click here on this other button then click on the, the plus button once again and click on photo layer click photo library now go back to the layer where you have your lens flare for me i have my lens flare stored in my pins folder so this is it i'm going to click on add to add it up Okay. now click on plus button click here on this FX click on the, the Gaussian blur which is this then increase the blurness a bit click on your check mark and come back here click on this layer button and I click here on this layer button once again remember the first time we click on the plus button but now we are clicking on the uh, layer button to see this blending mode so click on the 
this touch down button and choose linear dodge i'm choosing a linear dodge based on the kind of lens flare i have you can see if we change it to overlay you have different different styles it depends on what you want or how you see it but i think a linear dodge is okay for me so where can you come out from here just click on the layer panel and you will easily come out from that folder so click back on the layer panel click here now on this main layer panel to see exactly where to exit so right now we're going to click here to adjust the positioning of the lens flare so click on transform so that you can be able to move around with the lens flare can you see now so we can even reduce it in size just to place it on top of this uh, speaker so click on your check mark and boom you are good to go now how can you uh, save your work just click on done click on done and click save so it's saving and it's done saving how can you now save to your gallery just click here and um, click on save to gallery change the dimension to png and select okay select the design and click ok so it's publishing and everything is done publishing let's go check it out so this is our design you can see that this is our design podcast talk show with evelyn moses on the fight on friday the 8th of march as from 9 a.m sensitive issues like relationship matters women in politics health tips and culture will be on the talk show for following on their social media handle on facebook just search sunrise podcast as from 9 a.m on the 8th of march so guys that's it for this awesome podcast talk show flyer design uh, with the help of pixel app and the pscc application i believe today's tutorial was very much awesome kindly subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching god bless you see you in the next tutorial